Howdy guys, how are y'all doing? Guys, gals, peeps, all that good stuff. Um, so I'd like to first take a second and address um, pretty much how all the video is. And uh, it's about Roller Champion. Apparently over the past couple uh days, some news just came out from some uh, people that work with the company and whatnot, stating that the game will not be continuing after this season which um as y'all know i have high hopes for the game um not playing it every single day but it is a very good casual pick up and go game i know i have a lot of fun with it especially when i have teammates um i know that y'all have seen me play with most heroic and i think that's about it but yeah so we're gonna kind of just dive right into it and we'll go from there but as always i hope y'all are having a great day and i hope y'all enjoy the the little video i have prepared for y'all so um first things first um yeah so roller champion it, it, this is it um so it i have multiple sources i was kind of bummed a little bit when i heard about the news but there is a, a bright side to all this, and uh, I'm going to show you why. So, bear with me if I kind of mix things up here and there. But basically, that did not work. Try that again. Uh, Yeah, this is just peachy for y'all. All right, so I'm just going to show off a uh, a whole screen for whatever reason cuz it's not really showing anything else. Uh do apologize about y'all seeing <laughs> the effect, but this is it. So um basically Ubisoft's free to play roller champions will be canceled soon. Um basically the Jeff Grubb has stated on the Xbox Era podcast that Roller Champions is going to be canceled after Season 3. Um, and as y'all know, it was pretty hyped up up until about launch. And then um, after launch, it kind of saw a steady decline. But that, in most cases, that's the way a lot of these games work. But it's the continuation of the game that really brings it to life. I know Rocket League, when it first came out, it wasn't just hard hitting and stayed that way. It, it went through some ups and downs and a lot of it depends on the game developer supporting said content. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go on. It ranges between 61 to 69% depending on platform as far as the, the rating on it. Uh, Twitch tracker with only 219 average viewers in the last seven days. Uh, and so this was from PlayStationLifestyle.net, and we have multiple sources. Um, Game Rant, Ubisoft reportedly canceling Roller Champions. Uh, it's next on the chopping block. Um, basically states the exact same thing, uh, but again, it, this is all from Jeff Grubb. So. Depending on if he is a, a very viable source or not is a little undetermined i i was believing it up until this morning which i'm glad i didn't do the video i was going to do yesterday uh because time got away from me and i was kind of working on some other things as y'all know skater excel is my baby uh super excited for skate coming out but uh there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to make the videos i do for skater excel um but so a little statistics using Twitch Tracker. You know, everyone loves Twitch Tracker. It averages around 200, well right now it's 207 live viewers, 24 live channels. So it's not that high up there. 489 of a rank, 12 viewers per channel over the past seven days. But that's not even what I wanted to show y'all. I wanted to show y'all how it started out back in 19 when it was kind of announced, of course, 
no one had the game. Little bumps here, little bumps there. This is, I'm assuming, when the beta came out, more than likely. And then, of course, all low again until the game came out. After the game came out. I died down a little bit. But I feel like it is way too soon for them to just be chopping off a game like that. Like, we have so many games out there that literally go on for years and years that people don't play but the supporter or the game developers keep supporting them so i'm a little salty about all this but thankfully ubisoft has responded they responded this morning or today at least and they tweeted out hello champions let's clear it out the way first brawler champions isn't getting cancelled and ubisoft fully supports it you can rest assured we'll update you as we roll forward the full statement so with that full statement, let's clear it out the way first. Roller Champions isn't getting canceled, and Ubisoft fully supports it. It is great news. I don't want this game going away anytime soon. Um, I, I have a blast with it. There, there's a lot of skill behind it, and it desperately, desperately, it's essential to have teamwork on this game. If not, you're really not having too much fun. It's kind of like Rocket League in that aspect. You can only do so much as a single person. Um, granted, we'll see if they come out with maybe like a 1v1 type deal. Um, but I honestly, they did a figure eight map. Um, I'm not sure if it's still in the game, but they did do a figure eight map and I had a blast with it. I want more of that. Um, and honestly, all they would have to do is make a bigger map and you could probably get up to maybe 4v4. Um, why not right like the more the merrier Let, let's get in there but back onto the statement so um what the roller champions team's doing is making sure we focus on what the players have told us need improvement and that super c supersedes all other priorities so claps off to the developers um ubisoft like honestly there is so many game developers out there that don't listen to their players that are just so gung-ho on pushing out new content, new cosmetics, just trying to get more money out of us. Um, and they don't listen to kind of what we got going on. Like, I know there's numerous games that I play that have had the same bugs months on end. And, but you know, the new update comes out and they're like, oh yeah, no, we added this. Not even acknowledging the fact that certain parts of their game aren't working. And so with that, what does that mean for us? It means that they're extending Disco Fever's length, which was kind of one of the, the big red flags about the game being canceled was it was stated that the season was going to be prolonged indefinitely indefinitely is not the right word if they're just postponing it so even if they're continuing it on for another month two months hey if y'all gotta do that to get the bugs out the game make sure the matchmaking times aren't as long as they are as y'all know in one of my last videos we waited almost 10 minutes just to say matchmaking failed <laughs> but with that they will push out a patch that includes cross invites so that we deliver on the game's promise as being a resolutely social experience we will announce when this patch comes out as it's validated and good to go. So that was, if you're gonna have a cross platform game, you have to make it easy for people. I know I've played some games where it's cross platform but in actuality you can only play with each other on the same system like uh the golf with friends is like that uh one of our friends mike he bought it on steam but since we had it on xbox we couldn't really play with him yeah luckily he had a um a return like deal where he could return it and then buy it or get it on xbox but either way um 
awesome job. Definitely got to have cross platform fixed. And then number two, we will take enough time to solve the issue our players have voiced as irritant irritants before we release our new season the cross invite patch will include fixes but we will be working on more improvements after its release before we launch the next season so definitely great kind of what i was just talking about you definitely don't want to be pushing out new content when your game is broken um granted i'm not saying that the game is fully broken i know i still enjoy it quite a bit but you got to make sure things are going smoothly because if not you can have all this flashy content if people can't play it due to a bug or just matchmaking times they're not going to want to play it i know one of my favorite games when i first got my ps5 was destruction all stars uh, even better yet also spell break these two games they were literally put on the back burner forgotten about and it's a shame those were two very top tier games that just didn't receive the support it needed to continue um i haven't played destruction all-stars in a while now last time i tried i uh, like where roller champions is that now 10 minute plus wait times we're not back in the 90s we can't be sitting there waiting 10 minutes for a game to start people are going to lose interest i mean think about like tiktok you have five second intention span um so that really in my opinion is kind of a game breaker if you have too long of a wait time people are going to get bored they're going to back out they're going to find another game that they can boot up within a minute and be in the game because you can't really have fun on a main menu <laughs> but we're going to wrap this up as far as content is concerned we can tell you we got exciting stuff planned for the next seasons we strongly believe that we're before we release new content we've got to do right by our players hence why we are taking the time needed before we do and rest assured and we'll keep you updated as we roll forward the roller development team so again kudos props out to y'all ubisoft roller development team do that i know one game that i've been hyping up on my channel is skate they said from the get-go they were going to take their time with it they were going to do right by the players if game companies out there haven't figured out yet we would rather have y'all take y'all's time and release the game that we've been hyping up for instead of just rushing it out there i mean look at the route fallout went i hated that because fallout 3 was great fallout new vegas was great but it seems like as they kept pushing those out those time frames got shorter and shorter and the game got worse and worse it was there wasn't as much new to it the game was buggy and when you have all that it is not good it like i i'm not gonna bad mouth these games anymore like all i can say is y'all gotta do right by y'all's players and y'all can't continue beating us half built games but just to kind of wrap it up you can rest easy we've got more on the way um <laughs> but yeah so bear with me while we um yep i'm sorry y'all had to see that <laughs> but yeah so that that's about it for the video um i know pretty much i want to hop in and maybe do a match like why not right so we shall do just that. So. And you're getting in there. Um, but yeah, I, I really hope that it was a little informative for y'all. We're going to play a match um, just to kind of see what the status is of the game. I know I always check out the item shop. I love the green suit. <laughs> that is so cool um but that's what i mean like there's so much potential sandy the cap like look at this wouldn't that be the coolest thing to the rolling around on that like roller development team if y'all stumble across my video give us a way of getting these tires like y'all have all these nice cosmetics but y'all just want money for them is that is that it like uh, it's 
fine to have on like the high tier stuff, but like at least give us some way of like utilizing our fans. Because fans kind of just seem like a like a loot ball type deal. Or not even a loot ball, like you kind of end up just doing nothing with them. Like loot ball, it, I, I like the loot ball system. Like I know it's a little controversial because most people don't like loot boxes and that's exactly what this loot ball is but honestly i like the random aspect it's exciting like i know it's kind of like um i like a whatchamacallit i don't know like honestly all i'm saying is i like the randomness to it it gets exciting Especially when you pull something good. But whenever you don't have enough in there, that's where it's not as exciting. I know uh, Pokemon Unite, when it first came out, there wasn't too many reasons to exchange your energy tanks. And that was basically the loot system. And I had everything in there within the first month. And then I was sitting there just waiting for new content to come out for it. Which isn't good. Like, peeps, y'all gotta do right. Gotta do better. <laughs> they're bad! They're beautiful! They're Dennis crazy! Put your hands together for our roller let's champions! Let's see it's anybody's it's game tonight! So cheer! Cheer! And get yourself in gear! I mean, Welcome I really to Roller Champions! Step right up 
say it. Hey, I've been working on the fast part. Victory for 
Blue! Uh, as you all see, you desperately need teamwork to make anything happen. Um, I know I was able to get us a goal, but it would have been a lot better if I would have had, you know, personal care. I know I was well trying to give what he could, but... The thing I really enjoy about Water Champions is the reason why I don't want to keep going anywhere. I like skating, if y'all haven't figured it out yet, like, skate, skater in Excel, um, Shredders, <laughs> played Shredders. Um, I played Descenders right before I started streaming. So, uh, y'all want to see Descenders? We'll, we'll definitely get y'all in there, or get it in here. But, um, yeah, so it was just going to be a quick little short video for y'all. I wanted y'all to see, one, what's going on in the state of the game. Two, if y'all haven't seen it, this Roller Champions is a blast. You should play it. Um, pretty much, if y'all are liking this game, you got to play it in order to keep it alive, even if it's just every so often. I know um, that's kind of the downfall with most games. There's not a player base. They're not going to keep it going. But, peeps, I really do appreciate y'all for dropping by, um, pretty much. As always, thank y'all for everything y'all do, whether you're liking videos, whether you're in my social medias, in my Discord, you know, whatever you gotta do. But, let's go ahead and get it out the way. I do have socials. I got TikTok, I got Instagram, I got Twitter jump in them um i know honestly i've been getting into tiktok quite a bit um just because i don't have to worry about copyrighted audio like that's i know whenever i go to redo my whole setup i'm gonna figure it out how i can have copyrighted music here in the stream but not on the youtube or the video on demand the vod <laughs> but yeah so check out my social medias that's always cool Discord, that's how y'all keep updated. Um, pretty much I'll update real life stuff on there a lot more frequently than anywhere else. I know, um, other than that, I stream on YouTube and Twitch. So if you haven't already, check out Twitch. Pretty cool. I know sometimes they'll have drops on things. I know with, uh, I think my second Roller Champion stream, if you were watching it live, um, pretty much if you watched it for over an hour, you got some stuff. And so forth um, that's one of the things I really like about twitch not to mention I have some cool audio things and uh, whenever you do certain things you, you can have a uh, audio on command I know um, pretty much all you have to do is like exclamation mark and type in run and we'll have a little audio clip that'll play so real cool stuff just a quick little update for y'all um, with myself roller champions um, yeah, that's about it. Thank y'all for dropping by. Until next time, bop bop and peace out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys.